Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Recently, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Ali Ali Alak, and Prime Minister Mohammed Shia Al Sudani made statements that have generated a lot of buzz. Alak mentioned that deleting the zeros from the Iraqi dinar is on the agenda. This move, if implemented, would be a major milestone. What does this mean exactly? Well, deleting zeros essentially means re-denominating the currency. But, for instance, if the current denomination is 1,000 dinars, it could be changed to one dinar, thereby simplifying financial transactions and potentially stabilizing the economy. Prime Minister Al Sudani added to this momentum by asserting that the Iraqi dinar is set to become stronger than the US dollar. This is a bold statement, considering the dominance of the dollar in global markets. For the dinar to strengthen against the dollar, several economic conditions need to be met, including increased investor confidence, economic stability, and effective monetary policies. This anticipated change isn't just about numbers and exchange rates, it's about the tangible impact on everyday life for Iraqi citizens. A stronger dinar would mean increased purchasing power for Iraqis. Imported goods could become more affordable, inflation rates could stabilize, and overall economic confidence could rise. This would be a significant boost for a country that has faced economic challenges over the years. But to understand why these changes are so significant, let's delve a bit into the context. Iraq has been dealing with economic instability for decades due to various factors, including political unrest, wars and fluctuating oil prices. The current economic reforms are aimed at creating a more stable and prosperous economic environment. By strengthening the dinar and possibly removing zeros, the government hopes to rebuild trust in the national currency and attract foreign investment. However, these changes don't happen overnight. There are several steps involved in re-denomination and strengthening a currency. The Central Bank of Iraq will need to carefully plan and implement policies to ensure that the transition is smooth. This includes public awareness campaigns, adjustments in banking systems, and international coordination. Moreover, the government will need to address underlying issues such as corruption, bureaucratic inefficiencies and infrastructure development to create a conducive environment for these changes. One critical factor in this process is oil. Iraq's economy is heavily reliant on oil exports, and fluctuations in oil prices can have a significant impact on the economy. Diversifying the economy is crucial to achieving long-term stability. The government has been working on various initiatives to promote other sectors, such as agriculture and manufacturing, to reduce dependency on oil. The international community will also be watching these developments closely. A stronger Iraqi dinar could change the dynamics of trade in the region and beyond, Investors might see new opportunities in Iraq, leading to increased foreign direct investment, which could further bolster the economy. In conclusion, the potential changes in the Iraqi dinar represent a beacon of hope for many citizens. It's about more than just currency value, it's about economic sovereignty, stability, and a brighter future for the Iraqi people. We'll be keeping a close eye on these developments and we'll bring you updates as they unfold. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on this and other significant news stories. Thanks for watching and see you next time.